What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. So today we're talking about the M12 inflator. I know it's been out for like a year. Uh, I'm finally getting it. I scored it on an awesome deal at Home Depot. $99 for the M12 starter kit. You get a 1.5 battery, a 3.0 battery, and a charger. Uh, you get your choice of four tools four tools, that was not three, four tools free. Uh, you can get the inflator, the rover light, the oscillating tool, or uh, did I say the inflator? Oh, or the staple gun. So you can get one of those four tools for free. Uh, it's a pretty awesome deal. So I paid $99 for everything included. Pretty sweet. So I finally have the inflator and I'm really excited. I've been testing it out. I've been doing all kinds of things with it. So we'll talk about the features and then I'll show you a little bit of the runtime. Um, I'm really not worried about how long the battery will last. Just know that it's going to get you by in a pinch. Um, I, I filled up a lot of tires. I've been playing with it for a couple hours now um, on and off. And the 3.0 has not even, let's see, the 3.0 has just come down to three bars. So I have about uh, 10 minutes of runtime, maybe 20 minutes of runtime. Um, I don't know exactly. So it, it's pretty darn good. It's going to get you by in a pinch. You really aren't out here to just it, inflate tire after tire after tire. You're going to use a big compressor for that. You're not going to use this little guy. This little guy is to save you on the side of the road or, or something like that. So. If you get all wrapped around those numbers, then you're just being way too picky on tools. Um, it really doesn't matter as long as this thing will save you. Um, it's compact, it's small, and heck, the M12 uh, starter kit even came with a bag. So now you can put your inflator and your batteries in a bag, throw it in the back of the car for a long trip, or you know whether you're going somewhere, who knows keep it on you, this thing will save you in a pinch. So we'll go over the features and then we'll go outside and we'll pump up some tires with it. I'll show you how it works. All right, this thing is incredibly easy to use. Uh, if you can't use it, I'm worried about you. Hit the power button. Uh, you have your target PSI here at the top and then you have your current PSI at what your tire is. As you can see, the 3.0 is on three bars of battery right now. Uh, you can increase by you know, one PSI at a time or you can hold and it will increase by five at a time. All the way up to 120 PSI, not too shabby. Um, you have some, some uh, accessories here. You got your basketball thing. You've got your, uh, this is a high pressure nozzle. So if you're uh, blowing up a, uh, a tube or something like that, a small tube, you can use that. Um, also another, a different nozzle you can thread on the end here. All kept in the back. Your hose just wraps around the, the uh, claws on the back. Um, overall, a very nice unit. Alright, so my goal is not to bore you with a long video of me inflating a bunch of tires and timing it. Um, that's not really the focus of my channel. Um, I'd really like to just show you some of the features. One feature I don't like is this spin-on chuck. I'm not a fan because it does leak air when you're going, you know, when you're uh, threading on and off. I really don't like that. Um, I would rather just have the little thumb, the thumb throw lever where you put it on that bad boy and it just tightens down the quick release lever. Let's turn on our inflator. It's at 27 PSI right now. This Corvette tire takes 35, so let's go on up to 35 and let's fill it up. Oop. And when you're ready to fill up, all you do is hit this inflate button.
right guys so there you have it uh, the m12 inflator is not a big robust air compressor um, it is literally designed to get you out of a jam I originally bought this inflator because I was thinking more of the plumbing realm um, filling expansion tanks in uh, basements and stuff like that um, and and doing that kind of thing with it so uh, I plan on keeping it in the truck um, always having it available it will get you by in a pinch um, it is by no means going to win you any races uh, or you know inflate semi tires or anything like that it's it's not designed for that it's a subcompact inflator and it does exactly that so I think that it is an excellent win and for getting this for free with the M12 starter kit this is a must-have um, I, I do really like this inflator um, and I see that you know it going on trips and stuff like that in the future with my cool Milwaukee bag um, I think it will be around for many many years I think it has a lot of uh, life in it for sure so one thing that I read in the manual who reads the manual geez um, I'm embarrassed I even read the manual um, I was trying to figure out how, how what the max PSI was so give me a break but uh, for every 10 minutes of use you're supposed to give this 10 minutes of rest so it's about a 50% duty cycle or it is a 50% duty cycle I have bugs in here now so every 10 minutes you run it give it 10 minutes of rest um, it does get rather warm the hose will get warm it'll tell you when it's it's uh, heating up so give it time to cool take good care of it take care of your things they'll take care of you um, I hope you guys like the video um, not getting all scientific about it just giving you a down and dirty uh, view on exactly what it's like uh, the end of my test I filled up about uh, four I did my mower I did the uh, two tires on the Corvette and two tires on the Land Rover so that's four car tires and a mower so I'm down to two bars on my 3.0 not bad it's definitely going to get you by in a pinch so I hope you guys enjoyed the video I hope to see you click subscribe hope to see you around the channel um, if you're already subscribed give me a thumbs up give me a thumbs down whatever you're into and we'll see you guys on the next video